Paul Jackson. Welcome to my channel. If you enjoy what you see, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell. <laughs> I've got to say that, that's my favourite bit of my videos. Anyway, thought I'd just uh, bring you up to speed on my channel. Uh, just put you in a picture, really. Uh, yeah, just jumping back to uh, October, November. Um, me and my friend Danny, me and my, my friend, me and my friend Danny, uh, always, always having a bet on something. Prop bets, poker, everything, you name it. We always bet on something. And we were just having a chat about uh, YouTube channels on how, I had a, how easy it would be to set one up. And uh, we were talking about where we could get 100 subscribers or 1,000 views. <laughs> Obviously, we have no idea. Um, anyway, he ended up offering me odds of 5 to 1 if I could get uh, 100 subs in 100 days. <clears throat> or a thousand views in a hundred days, five to one on each. So I had a bag each, I had a grand a piece on that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we had no idea what we were doing or anything, but there was uh, there were a lot of rules on that. I'm not going to bore you to death on them. Uh, just stuff like clickbait, like I couldn't like put um, first, first hundred subscribers, I'll get a ten or a piece or, or something like that. You know what I mean. Um, yeah, and it let me do a what's in my bag, and I could do one giveaway up to 50 quid. Um, I ended up doing 11 videos, but that's because I didn't realise at the start you can only do up to 15 minutes, I believe, so something like that anyway. So I ended up having to split the couple into two, so yeah, so that was basically it. Um, my 100. Uh, subs started off as a flyer to be honest um, yeah after about 20, 20 days somewhere like that I had about 40 subs and I thought whoa this is awesome this uh, yeah so I went with Dan and I said to him right I says I want up the answer I want another another grand on that um, he agreed to it, not at five to one obviously, give me even money on that. So I had two grand riding on my hundred subs. Uh, yeah, well that was quite funny actually with that. Well expensively funny. Um, Cause the from the minute I put the extra thousand on to my hundred days up, which was about another seven or eight weeks later, I think I got about four more subscribers, that's all. So, uh, but yeah, but in January, uh, I was away and I rung him up and I asked him if I could buy myself out of that bet. Um, so, 500 a piece, we agreed on. Um, so that bit cost me a grand. Still had a grand running on, thousand views. Um, just run, just run short on that, just run out of steam on that. I think it was 9.26 that they cut off last week. Uh, yeah. So it basically cost me two grand to uh, have a go at YouTube. And that was it, really. <clears throat> but I've got some of it. I do enjoy it. I enjoy doing it, to be honest. I'm, I mean, I'm not interested in subs and views and all that. Don't get me wrong. It's nice when you know people watch your stuff and that, but... Um, yeah, it's more of a diary for me. Something to look back on with grandkids. Hopefully they'll start playing with me in a couple of years' time. So yeah, so I'm going to carry on. Carry on doing it. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, what I didn't realise is, uh, on this YouTube and um, Twitter and all that, Jesus Christ, there's some shite that goes on there, isn't there? I don't know, yeah, there is. I didn't realise, like you follow me, I follow you, you don't retweet this just in case you get two more views than me and all that, fucking hell guys, come on, you need to chill out on that, bloody hell, um, you know, <laughs> honestly, that bit just absolutely baffles me, does that, you 
don't know what I mean. Uh, some of these guys, especially the bigger YouTubers, you know, it's the business of these guys, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like, look at James Robinson there. Puts a different video out every day. Every day of the week, seven days a week. And, uh, yeah, I like him, to be honest. He has some good content, him, and seems uh, an approachable guy. Yeah, I quite like him. He's all right, he is. Yeah. Uh, who else do I watch? Um, Liam from Golf Logs. I like Liam. I'm not going to call Liam. I've never called Liam to be honest because uh, I didn't play properly for about 10 years. Um, <laughs> I don't play properly now, but um, yeah, I just came across his channel one night. I think he only had about 800 subs at the time. Uh, yeah, so he, he inspired me to get back to golf to be honest just with watching him up on the adult course and that. Uh, so I took it back up. Uh, but his best stuff by far is uh, on course stuff with all, all Man Pat and the Dick and eBay Pete and that. And now obviously you've got young man Josh there. Uh, yeah, that's his best stuff. I'm not into all the gimmicks and all that lot, but you know, it is what it is, isn't it? Uh, it's all part and parcel. But yeah, out on the course, that's his uh, best stuff, is that? It is. And, uh, Oggy, Oggy, I like Oggy, Oggy, <laughs> yeah, bloody hell, him and Dan, Ac Dan Aykroyd, bloody hell for you, <laughs> I bet you wish you were working with Dan Aykroyd, Dan Hendrickson, I think them two must be the nicest guys on YouTube, they don't have a bad word to say about anyone, do they, them two, they don't, but while I'm talking about Oggy, I don't know if it's full or not, but I've just seen, he's got his um, charity day, I think it might be 1st of September. So I'll go over to his channel, I'll have a look at that because he's a nice lad, he's, he's John. Never met him, but always comes across really well. So I'll give that a, give that a look. Yeah. Um, talking about top blocks. Top block. <laughs> he calls us some shite, doesn't he? He does. But I, I do like him, always parody. All that song, them songs he does and that. Yeah, I think it's great, to be honest. And, not many people talk about him apart from on his channel. I think people are scared out to admit they like him. But I like him to be honest. I do. Don't get me wrong, I think if he were ripping me to bits, I don't know whether I'd feel the same, but yeah, of course I would. That don't bother me at all, that <laughs> it doesn't. You know, when people go on about all these thumbs down and all that, it just needs to chill. Just I mean who gives a toss whether someone puts the thumbs down or not? You know what I mean? Obviously, you get the arseholes, don't you? That video's been uploaded for one minute and you get 25 thumbs down. It, you know what I mean? But that tells you even more, it's just one person. So why get you, you know, get what about this? Fucking ignore them. You know what I mean? I was looking at one of James Robinson's videos a few weeks back and uh, I don't think I'm going to get sideswiped here. Uh, yeah, looking at one of James Robinson's videos a few weeks back. He had 36,000 views and 36 thumbs down. You know what I mean? Like one for every thousand. Whilst we were playing golf in Mauritius. Oh, Christ. There's a copper gunner. I went middle of the strip here. There was a copper bellowing at me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And 36 thumbs down while he's playing in Mauritius. Do you honestly think? He gives a toss. Does he, yeah. Go on, Matt. Yeah. But uh, I will give you one tip. And that's... Uh, all the smaller YouTubers, to be honest. Um, like asking for help. You know what? What's he called? The, the guy that... In fact, I think he's gold guy. Him that does Rick Shields um, social media. I'm sure I read a few weeks ago that it's very rare that Rick gets approached on anything apart from like collaborations and that. Uh, and it's true that um, nobody ever asks anyone for advice. And that's my tip. That I've been involved in quite a few businesses over the years. And I never ask for help. <coughs> Always ask for advice. You don't learn anything to be honest with help. Uh, but advice is a key. It is. You know what I mean? 
like email Rick and say, Rick, we do a collaboration with me. I mean, obviously, I've never said to give him, but if he did, you know, what am I going to get? A couple hundred subs off the back of it? And then tomorrow, I'm back to normal, and a couple of weeks down the line, videos, tired, and I just go back to doing the same old stuff. You know, I, I don't learn anything, do I? You know what I mean? It's just advice. These, I'm sure these top YouTubers, seven out of ten, I'll give you ten minutes of the time just replying to an email or something like that. Uh, but we're not going to go out of the way for a full day to do a collab, are they? With someone who's got a couple of hundred subs. Anyway, that's my, me just waffling on. But, uh, but yeah, my favourites uh, are smaller YouTubers. I like them. To be honest, you've got uh, Kareen, uh, Golf Diary, Diary Golfer, Golf. Oh God knows what, I always get it wrong. Princess golfer and all that lot. Uh, yeah, just a young girl there, just learning to play play golf, watching her progress. When I say young, you know what I mean, Curry? Young lady there. Uh, and you've got Ant Field House. Ant, if you watch this, mate, honestly, you just carry on doing exactly what you're doing, mate. Um, you got some nice little set of followers there, and you're doing all right there, buddy. Just taking a notice about thumbs down, like I said, just doing all right there, mate, you keep plugging along. Um, you got Shankers, yeah, they always cause a bit of a stir, don't they? And I like them. I think that's more of Owen than anything. If I was guessing, don't know, but I think Owen's the one that likes stirring a few few things up, but I don't mind that at all. Uh, I like G, I like Graham and Lee, yeah. They put some good little content out. All right then, I do. Um, Lee Whittaker, I like Lee. He comes across very no, no, knowledgeable, does Lee. Uh, I like his stuff. Um, I like the fact that he's not PGA or he's a pro, or anything like that. But he knows his he knows his stuff. Puts some good content out, and you can tell he loves it. So he comes across does that. Um, but my favourite one, to be honest. Head's gonna be out here, innit? Old oh, Fergs. Yeah, it's definitely my favourite, it's Fergs. His, his old personality, his, his satire, the way he comes across, I think he's got that nailed on, to be honest, Bob on. Um, and I think him and Lee, with this new podcast they've got, uh, I think they'll go places, to be honest with that. I do, I think that's, that's top bananas, that boys. So well done on that, and good luck in future. Um, yeah, so that's it. Me just just waffling on, uh, but I'm going to carry on doing channel. Um, like I say, it's only going to be course vlogs, but um, I play some beautiful courses. In fact, I only ever play beautiful courses. To be honest, I'm always in the sun, which I like. So uh, yeah, keep watching, and uh, see you around next time. Bye for now.